in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and then kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and we shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. O God, who by light of your Spirit did instruct us to the faithful, grant that by the same Holy Spirit we may be truly wise and never enjoy his consolation through Christ our Lord. Amen. And we follow. In the past, it says, Feel your spirit to something. Today, I would like to um, um, clear uh, about the spirits of uh, the spirits of the last times, the, la the, the last, the, the, the times that we're living now at the moment. What kind of spirits we are living in now at the moment? Uh, we in the Bible, in the, in the book of Revelation, we understand that. Um, they are, the, the evil is using three kinds of spirits because he wants to mock everything that God does. So he, mo he wants to mock the Holy Trinity, which is uh, three persons in one, one in three. He, he does the same. So he basically he, uh, he split himself in uh, three. Uh, the evil is composed of three spirits, evil spirits. And we read in the book of Revelation, of uh, three different figures. The first figure is the uh, that the, the, the evil is using. The first figure that the evil is using is the figure of the frog. And we read this uh, when uh, when many frogs um, uh, the, the they came they came down to the earth and it was filled with uh, many frogs at one certain point. Uh, the spirit of frog is a dirty spirit. It's a spirit of impurity because the frog, we we uh, nobody, no, no, is never is never depicted as a, something nice to see or something uh, that pleased to the human eyes, especially some kind of frogs. And that's why the Bible is using the spirit of frog to describe a spirit of filthy, filthiness. That uh, he, um, it's a spirit of impurity, as I said. So, a spirit that leads the human, the people, to commit uh, the the sin of the flesh. Uh, it can be it can be uh, with the same sex or with different sex. It doesn't matter. Even heterosexual people can commit sin uh, of the flesh. And we see this spirit that. Um, he, throughout the history of the world, he always existed. He always existed since the fall of Adam and Eve, when uh, when we see that um, their eyes were opened and, uh, and they felt shame to be naked. So this is the first appearance of this of this spirit, the spirit of frog, spirit of filthiness, when Adam and Eve they start to feel ashamed to be naked. So therefore, throughout all this, uh, this, uh, this speed, we see even now that it's getting more and more uh, increasing uh, through uh, homosexuality and uh, etc. and uh, perversion and etc. etc. Anyway, we go to the second speed. We move to the second speed. The second speed is the speed de depicted as uh, um, a snake of a serpent. Why is that? Because uh, the snake is using uh, his poison to uh, kill his prey. And what does it represent? The poison. The poison. The poison represents the heresies. Uh, all things that uh, they look like they make sense, but eventually they lead to um, to confusion and eventually to to the wrong way. Uh, they take away. They take people away from the from the right doctrine. So, for example, the heresies like that Jesus was not divine or that Jesus was uh, was only divine, not human. This kind of heresies they are represented. They are represented by the spirit of the snake. They are conducted. They are brought forward to the people through the spirit of the snake of the serpent. Because, as I said, uh, the poison represents the heresies. Therefore, he attacks 
using uh, only only using the the intellect not the flesh but the intellect because the Alice's they get uh, they attack uh, not the flesh but the intellect therefore there could be someone that is uh, uh, is affected by the, the spirit of the um, snake uh, he does is not affected by the spirit of the frog impurities you just say a lot of heresies and uh, and uh, but by is is maintained pure in you know, pure uh, uh, just you know pure uh, pure uh, in, in a certain way but not not uh, pure in his in his mind pure in his flesh but not in his mind and we see this uh, with this spirit of the snake that is very is attacking a lot of the intellectual people also the clergy people people in the church uh, people pastors uh, not just catholic but evangelical and uh, and uh, many people that uh, they, they they sound so nice their mouth is so sweet but they just spread poison around and the the, the, the main the main the main uh, goal is to uh, to to lead to uh, to uh, to people to send the people astray, to people uh, people astray from from the from the truth. The third spirit is the spirit of um, is the, is depicted uh, is depicted as the as a scorpion. Now why the scorpion? Because the scorpion he has a double uh, double weapon. He's got uh, the, the front, the front, uh, the, the, the front uh, is using his um, arms, let's say, to uh, to capture the, the the prey, and his back, from his tail, is uh, injecting the poison, like the snake. So what what does it mean? This the evil spirit is using first the heresy of uh, the poison from his tail and then he kills the soul through apostasy because heresy eventually leads to apostasy to uh, reject uh, reject the true christ for example for example uh, people they uh, the the through excuses they um they um, they engage in a new age that's therefore from christianity then they they move to some practices that uh, from uh, eastern religion like uh, like yoga new age uh, all new age practice they come from different religions so therefore through the help heresy of poison of the devil then eventually they leads them to apostatize to apostatize to uh, reject jesus even though they don't reject with their mouth but with their action they are rejecting uh, jesus christ because they are involved in completely something different that is not uh, nothing to do with christianity and we see this uh, spirit of uh, apostasy, especially in the in the latest time, because the more heresy they've been uh, uh, thrown out to the world uh, in the last uh, in the last five hundred years from the Reformation and uh, yeah, the Reformation got the worst, but even before there were spirit of heresies, where Arianism and the audience. But anyway, the Reformation got uh, the the worst, and and then so the Reformation was the peak, and now we see. Uh, we see the, third, the the highest point of heresies that eventually are leading many people to apostatize, to reject the the true meaning of child, who is really Jesus. Jesus for them is just a, a prophet or someone, uh, someone. So when someone believes that that Jesus was just a prophet, a holy man, and uh, not God, basically saying in his heart this. Um, he reject Jesus, therefore he, re he reject the true Jesus, the, the, the Jesus God, and therefore he's apostatizing in his heart. And that's why we see in the book of Apocalypse that uh, the key was given uh, to the devil to uh, open the abyss and a lot of uh, uh, evil spirits they came out. These are the spirits of the last, the, the latest time, the, 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 the time before the second which has the spirit of apostasy. Therefore, we should make sure not to uh, be engaged in these new age practices or, 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 um, or spread around heresies, because it means that we are affected uh, by this three spirit of community of unity, which is the spirit of the frog, as I said. So thank you for listening and uh, uh, 
uh, may God bless us all and uh, keep us on the right path. In another fact, the sun is your